So I'm here with Floppy after a tough eliminating loss versus Mouse to get to be eliminated from IEM Dallas 2024. So although it was a tough three map series, how did you guys uh, like stay in the game on Vertigo, which was a super tight affair? Yeah, I think uh, on Vertigo today, we just had a bit of an advantage considering the EU teams were flying as the update happened. So we already uh, were able to take a look at the map uh, in advance compared to the other teams. So I think we just had a little bit extra time to prepare for Vertigo. Did you see any of that inexperience prop up in the game? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think on, on both sides, we're, we're kind of like figuring stuff out on the fly. Um, it's normal since, I mean, both of us basically haven't gotten that much frack on the map. So it makes sense. And you guys got super, super close on, on Ancient. You, I believe it was a 13-11 loss. That's the best you've had against Miles and the few times you've played them. Um, what went right to enable you to get so close? And ultimately, what went wrong to prevent that victory coming through? Well, I think on T sides, when we started coming back, and we started getting picks in mid really early, which is uh, really good for us, obviously. Being able to get in a 5v4, or at least a 4v4 if you get traded, it, it makes it really hard for the CTs to be able to like rotate and be in the right spots. So um, I think getting early entries mid from Elise was, was really good for us. And I think CT, we, we had a slow start. So, I mean, we're, we're used to those <laughs> at this point. So, I mean, just uh, adapted over time. and We almost had it. And the third map, Nuke, uh, I'm sure you can admit that that was a pretty sloppy affair. What went wrong? There were man advantages being thrown across on both teams. What do you think went wrong there? Yeah, I think Nuke, it felt like, I don't know, like we had the game plan in mind, but from from my POV, it felt like I couldn't really do too much. It, it seemed like they were just working working stuff outside, and and even if they did ramp up, it, 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 it was kind of weird uh, rotations a couple rounds for me personally, but I mean, it's something I have, I have to go back and look at because obviously shit was not going right for us on Nuke, so yeah, it is what it is. Right, and uh, you said, of course, this is a very disappointing loss. This is coming off the back of a really strong EPL finish, third, fourth place. You guys you guys only lost to Mouse there, and now you're losing to Mouse again. Do you, do you think there's any sort of maybe one-sided rivalry, rivalry going on there? I mean... I wouldn't, yeah, I'd say it's one-sided because we. This is, I think, our sixth loss to them in a row. So, it's uh, definitely not something to be proud of for us. Um, it, we definitely had a better showing versus them at this event compared to EPL at least. But it's uh, it's just not enough for us. We wanted to play on the stage for this event. Um, yeah, and of course, it is a EPL. It finally looked like you got back into the swing of things it, after a, a troubling start to the year. Uh, is it how disappointing is it to you know find to go back into those rocky waters? I mean, yeah, it's like I don't know. We're I wouldn't say we're like used to it, but I mean, it's just it's really emo, especially like when I'm gonna lay in bed tonight thinking about it. It's just like uh, fuck again. <laughs> it was like I mean, things things like Sydney and Blast Fall Final, and now EPL playing in front of the stage is like the bare minimum for us and to not make that is just really disappointing like each and every time so uh yeah that's all i can really say right now it's just disappointing all right well thank you and good luck in your next events